those render bars. In this video, I will quickly explain what each color means and how to make them all go green. First off, to render with regard to these render bars refers to the rendering of previews. Put simply, all the edits that you apply to your clips, whether they be directly, don't do that, or with adjustment layers, use adjustment layers, all these edits change what your clip looks like. Essentially, you're making changes to each frame like you would to a photo. As you know, these frames make up your video. Now, with basic edits, you might often find that Premiere Pro can play back these clips with no problem in real time. But when you start to edit multiple layers and apply RAM intensive changes, such as that unsharp mask, for example, you'll find that your clips begin to jump. To address this, you can render previews, meaning that Premiere Pro creates an often lower quality preview and stores it in your scratch, yes, your scratch folder to call back instead of processing each frame in real time. A green bar means that that particular clip or that section of a clip has a rendered preview associated with it and you can watch that in real time. Yellow means there's no preview for that clip, but Premiere Pro will try process it just before the current time indicator, that little blue triangle line reaches it. And maybe you'll be able to watch it in real time. Maybe. There's a fair chance you will be able to watch it in real time. And a red render bar indicates the same as the yellow, but in converse, there's a fair chance you won't be able to watch it in real time. Now with that out of the way, I'll show you how to render previews for your clips so that they all have the green render bars associated with them. Right, we have a set of clips, some rendered to yellow and one fully rendered represented by the green render bar. In my experience thus far, the green render bar will not give me any trouble playing back in real time. But it's touch and go with the yellow, as you can see with this clip I used in a previous tutorial. Smooth playback tends to depend on how busy my laptop is. If I've got RAM intensive stuff happening, it'll play back jumpy. So to give Premiere Pro some work, let's arbitrarily duplicate this adjustment layer with a Lumetri mask. Let's put it up here so I remember to delete it later. And we are back to a red render bar. Let's place ourselves in a nice place to set this example. Note we have no in out points assigned. You can assign them by finding your initial point and press I for in and your outer point by pressing O. And I'm under the impression that a lot of editors render previews by setting the in out points and hitting enter which is the default render in out points key in Premiere Pro. And that's rendered now, as you can see with the green render bar and plays smoothly. To quickly show you what happens if we apply this in out area to your yellow clip and hit enter, it's not helpful. And we'll deal with that in a moment. For now, let's go back and drag the in out area back here to render this red segment. But concurrently, let's apply the work area bar. You can find it by going to your sequence title here and hitting the hamburger menu and enabling it here where it says work area bar. And there's the work area bar and let's drag it like so and ignore all these clips I'm accidentally revealing for now. And once your desired render area is selected, hit enter. And you'll see the work area takes priority and the render in out won't work if the work area bars are enabled, which is useful to know. But for good measure, let's take our in out points to our jumpy yellow clip, hit enter and no luck. For interest sake, you can deselect the in out by right clicking and select it clear in out. And to once and for all, address this yellow bar, drag the work area bar over our jumpy clip, navigate to sequence and select render entire work area. And there we have our green rendered clip that runs nice and smoothly as its previews are nicely stored in your scratch drive. Keep in mind that the entire work area refers to the clips that fall under the work area bar. Drag this over for good measure and your previews now run smooth and clear until you add more adjustments. And that's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, if you felt you learned something, it was useful, entertaining, feel free to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.